Hello, my name is Remy, and today we're going to be ranking all of the Breaking Benjamin albums from worst to best. Yes, the one and only iconic alternative metal band, Breaking Benjamin. They have released six full-length albums over the span of 16 years, and they are definitely up there with my favorite bands of all time. I pretty much like and love everything this band has done. Every album is at least a 7 out of 10 for me. So let's just take a look into their catalog and rank it from worst to best. Coming in at number 6 is Breaking Benjamin's debut 2002 record, Saturate. This album has more of a hard rock, post grunge feel to it, rather than their signature alt metal, alt rock sound. I'd say the weakest point of this album were easily the vocals. It very much felt like Ben was just at the start of his development here, with a lot of the vocals being a little shaky, with Ben not singing the best, and also not being as sharp and pitch perfect as he became later on. The songwriting on this album isn't necessarily amazing, and a lot of the choruses I find to be lacking, but I do overly enjoy some of Ben's vocals here, and I do love a lot of the instrumentals and guitar licks. I overly think it's a pretty good album, but nowhere near as good as what the band would become later on. My favorite songs are Polyamorous, No Games, Home, and Wish I May. At number 5 we have their 2018 album Ember. So before doing this video, I decided to re-listen to Ember. I wasn't crazy about this album at all when I first heard it. Um, it really didn't have what I wanted from Breaking Benjamin and it felt more generic. I thought it was easily their worst album. I thought the album was extremely processed, Ben's vocals felt auto-tuned, and the whole thing just felt artificial and synthetic rather than authentic, raw, and beautiful like their last couple of albums. Ben's vocals felt a little obnoxious here and the riffs felt generic. It didn't have that melodic, emotional punch of their old stuff. It was heavier and felt more like fast food music rather than the Breaking Benjamin we all love. Now, I've given it multiple more listens before doing this video and I have to say the album has definitely grown on me a lot. However, all of my criticisms of it being way too processed, way too overproduced, synthetic and obnoxious from Ben Spard still stand. I still want melodic Breaking Benjamin over this manufactured wannabe heavy music. With that said, the song ideas on here are really good. Like, I like the melodies on here a lot. The songwriting is very lacking though. Like, it's the same shit over and over and over again. Every damn song. It, it's really a shame. Like, darkness and being cold and all of this stuff is already... We already heard this stuff from Breaking Benjamin a million times before. However, I feel like the core songs themselves on this album are mostly really damn good. I just wish the production were rawer and Ben's vocals were more authentic. Also wish some of the riffs were better. I've been feeding for new Breaking Benjamin and I think this grew on me just because I need new music from them. But I have to say I think it's a solid album with great ideas but not the best execution. My favorite songs would be Down, Red Cold River and Torn Into. Settling at the number 4 spot is their sophomore 2004 record, We Are Not Alone. This is where I feel like the band has truly started to find their sound and become, well, the Breaking Benjamin we all know and love today. While this record still borrows some post-grunge and hard rock tropes from Saturate, Ben's vocals are much better here. He's improved so significantly on his record and he sounds awesome here. He sounds awesome. The instrumentation is good here with some really cool riffs and production choices. And while it does have a few filler songs, especially in the second half, this album has one of my favorite Break and Benjamin songs ever. And also a lot of other tracks that are very solid. The song I'm talking about is Simple Design, which is just an absolutely beautiful track with not only a great catchy riff, but one of the most beautiful choruses I could imagine on it. Ben's harmonies on this song are just something else. It gives off such a nostalgic feeling, it's crazy. So yeah, honestly, a really good record, and while I still don't think it's fully fleshed out yet, it's definitely one to remember from their discography. Favorite songs for me would of course be Simple Design, but also Break My Fall, Follow, Rain, and So. Now we're getting into the territory of albums that I absolutely love, 
And while my number three album isn't number two or number one, I still think it's absolutely incredible. For me, honestly, number one, number two, and number three are hard, just exactly just as good and interchangeable depending on my mood. However, I did have to pick one since this is a list at the end of the day. So I, I did have to pick an order. However, I think all of these three albums are pretty much perfect. I absolutely love all of them. So yeah. At number three, we have arguably their most iconic album, the 2006's Phobia. This album has easily their best songs ever, and while I think it has a few songs that are just decent at best in the second half, the highs are so incredibly high on this album, it, it doesn't even matter. The album is just fantastic and also very nostalgic. Songs like Dance With The Devil make me feel very nostalgic, almost like I've known this album for 10 years, which I haven't, but that's the way some songs on here make me feel, like I've... Like, I've heard it before, you know? The production, the riffs, and Ben's vocals, and songwriting is unmatched here. There's no doubt about it. I know this album is technically only at number 3, but I absolutely love this record. Even got a CD of it, I actually played it in the car today and really enjoyed it. Um, love it. Absolutely love this record, it's awesome. My favorite songs would have to be Breath, Dance of the Devil, The Diary of Chain, Until the End, Evil Angel, Had Enough, Topless, and Unknown Soldier. Now, as I said again, the top 3 of Breaking Benjamin albums are pretty much all just as equally good. I mean the difference in my score on a hundred scale between number two and number one is one point, which is essentially the exact same. So at number two, we have the last album with the original band lineup, the 2009's Dear Agony. This album is pretty much perfect, it really is. There are zero misses on this album, every single song is incredible, yes there are some songs that are better than others. But mostly all of them are great. The riffs are great, the production is great, but most importantly, Ben's vocals here at, uh, just are at his all-time high with incredible choruses, incredible writing, and incredible melodies. This is also, I argue, the saddest Breaking Benjamin album due to Ben going through quitting alcohol and dealing with a sickness caused by his addiction to it. And I mean, the pain he felt translated into some of the most most beautiful rock music I've ever heard. It's so emotional and powerful, the songs evoke a deep emotion within me and it's just banger after banger after banger. All killer, no filler. This album is absolutely beautiful and could easily be the number one album here at any day of the week. It's pretty much the same quality as the first one, but again, this is a list and it has to have an order. So yeah. My favorite songs on here are pretty much all of them, but I have to mention What Lies Beneath, Dear Agony, Into the Nothing, Give Me a Sign, and obviously, I Will Not Bow. I would say those are my most played songs from the album. Literally, the only song that is not perfect on here, I would say, is Hopeless, and that's still a good song, so yeah. Now, at the number one spot, I have an album that many people would put towards the bottom of their list, but for me, it's the best Breaking Benjamin album alongside with Dear Agony, and that is the 2015 comeback record Dark Before Dawn. This was the first album that came out after the band broke up, and as I mentioned here, it's pretty much a solo Ben Burley album, and it is absolutely beautiful. This has some of my favorite rock and metal songs on it, period, with simple yet incredible instrumentation and absolutely crushing Ben's vocals with gorgeous his melodies, harmonies, and some of his strongest sets of choruses I've heard on not just Breaking Benjamin albums, but on any album ever. Damn near every song on here is on daily replay rotation for me, and they just never get old. The riffs on here are amazing as well, and while I wasn't originally too sold on this album, I thought it was decent. It has grown on me extremely, and by extremely, I mean extremely. Even this album cover is absolutely fantastic, like, it's my favorite Breaking Benjamin album cover, it matches the music so perfectly. You know, the whole vibe of this record is just exactly my kind of cup of tea, and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I think it's incredible, honestly, and just so incredibly underappreciated. It almost makes me upset with how much people don't care for this album, because to me it's fantastic, personally. It's more Christian rock oriented, and it really feels like I'm in heaven 
been listening to it. It brings memories I've never had, and the melodies Ben pulls off give me an incredible rush of dopamine. What a masterpiece this album is. I really wish it got more credit, because it deserves it so much. If you feel just okay about this album, really try to give it more listens, and you might love it, because that's what happened to me. It's pretty much perfect for me. Never Again is probably my favorite Breaking Benjamin song alongside Failure. Those are pretty much my top two songs from them. Um, you know, I don't know. I just, I just, I just love this album. I mean, Angels Fall, Hollow, Close to Heaven, Defeated, and of course, Ashes of Eden are in my favorite tracks. And you know, all the other songs are great as well. I mean, those are just the best of the best here. Yeah, my two favorite Breaking Benjamin albums are the most emotional and sad albums from them, and I think that's just my preference when it comes to music in general. I love that kind of music the most, and the specific melodies and the vibes they pull off on this record just couldn't be more perfect for me. So yeah, that was my Breaking Benjamin album ranking. Let me know if you liked it and comment down below your ranking. I would love to see it. Also, check me out on this wonderful site, Album of the Year. It's a music reviewing site, just in case you didn't know. Link is in the description and also subscribe to my channel for more. So yeah, that's about it. Uh, it's Remy's Review signing out and I will see you in the next video.